Hello, my name is Shitesh Shrivastava and this is Shitesh's daily podcast. Today I want to talk about one thing that you must have encountered at least once in your lifetime and that is called rags to riches stories. There are countless amounts of books, there are countless amounts of videos, there are countless amounts of uh, articles and blogs on rags to riches story and how people who have who have lots of obstacles and problems in their life have become rich by working hard by doing things but i was very much inspired by this rags to riches stories and i wanted to get into the depth of it so i started counting them i started to get into the validity of it and i figured out that rags to riches stories are basically heroic stories and that's why i feel like them basically there's not much truth into them so these are the most of the time these are made up stories and we want we believe them because we want to believe them and people are selling those stories because we want to believe them so uh, how how rex riches stories help us how they motivate us basically you get motivated by listening to rex riches stories but i would say that is just a motivational porn because you get addicted to it you you think that uh, you may also have lot of problems you may also have lots of obstacles but if you conquer them you will become successful but that is far from truth basically rex riches stories are just uh, marketed stories which are good to sell so Uh, a lot of people are reading these stories and are destroying their lives trying to follow and emulate them so today i want to talk about how to how rags to riches stories are actually destroying you before i even begin telling you how rags to riches stories are destroying you here are few facts jeff bezos was born rich and so was mark zuckerberg and so was bill gates and so was elon musk and so was warren buffett none of them are rags to riches stories Jeff Bezos' grandfather was one of the largest land owners in Texas and most of them attended pricey Ivy League universities such as Princeton, Harvard and Columbia at the undergrad level where scholarships are scarce. When Jeff Bezos started Amazon, his parents invested several hundred thousand dollars into the startup and that was in 1990s money. Today you don't even can't even think how much uh, uh, millions of money that is. In 1990s, hundreds and thousands of dollars was way more than uh, way a lot of money to start any business basically. I cannot even uh, compare that uh, the amount of money it would be today. Now talking about Bill Gates father of Bill Gates was already a millionaire as he was an attorney and in a time when laying on your uh, hands on a computer was a distant dream Bill Gates and his friends were in a posh school it was one of the richest school where only the rich kids would study and uh, basically rich kids would study there because the fees of that posh school was so high that normal kids cannot go there and they had access to computers Yes at the time when Bill Gates was in school they had computers in their lab which normal non which I think 99% of schools at that time won't have because Bill Gates was born in when he was born in 1960s so he must be in school in 1970s and at that time I don't think there there were computer computers were very expensive first of all IBM was only sole distributor and uh, creator of uh, computers and they were not used and they were not open to general public because the, uh, there was not graph, there was no graphic user interface you have to put commands to do those kind of things and if you're not a computer coder and you don't understand computer i reckon you would be able to uh, uh, work on computer very very smoothly basically so uh, only uh, certain people were, were uh, did have access to computers and bill gates and his uh, pool of rich kids were few of them so when he dropped out he already had the seed money from his father to start his company so bill gates already had money to start his company now coming to mark zuckerberg and elon musk who often sell their immigrant stories but they but they already had rich parents who gave them a lot of money to start their own business when when zuckerberg uh, was thinking of starting his facebook and he told his parents that he wants to start his own company he got a handsome check from his father to start his business something that people don't tell you about and when he dropped out uh, it wasn't a big deal for him because he was already a rich kid 
Musk was not so lucky, got less money, but at least he had some money. And uh, non, uh, and when you talk about Lax Sudhir's story, they actually talk about people who do not even have parents, who do not even have any money in their pocket, and they turn ten uh, dollars or five dollars into billions of dollars of industry. Like if you read the uh, stories of Henry Ford or uh, Andrew Carnegie uh, or Charles Schwab and all these people, then you realize that they didn't have any money in their pockets. And it's and it's a beautiful story. We cannot go and verify those stories because they so we, we have to believe the word for it whatever is written in the books we have to believe that but the thing is all these people did something or had some money before they started something warren buffett's father was a wealthy stockbroker and he was also an investment advisor himself who was elected to congress four times Warren Buffett's father was already a rich kid, a uh, rich guy, and uh, Warren Buffett uh, was some was, was a guy who always lived in luxury, and he uh, he was a voracious reader, and that worked in his favor when he uh, became a stockbroker. And you, you you cannot count the immense amount of uh, wisdom that he got from his father, who was already a stockbroker and and an investment advisor. I have numerous examples like that. Like uh, if you talk in context of India. Uh, Shah Rukh Khan's mother was a magistrate and she had a three-story house in Delhi. From which angle Shah Rukh Khan was poor when he tells you about his reaction to the story that he came to Mumbai with only uh, uh, 10,000 rupees in his pocket. 10,000 rupees in 1990s was a big deal. Shah Rukh Khan had his own car when buying a car was not something which any middle class would think of. At least not in 80s when actually car was, uh, car was a dream for middle class. Only rich people would have car. He would play video games in his homes in 80s when kids at that time in India hadn't heard such a thing even existed. It was because of the 1991 and 1992 Manmohan uh, Singh and Narsimha Rao government came and they removed the excess import taxes from the uh, custom item that uh, people had access to VCRs and video games. But Shah Rukh Khan already had video game, something which would have costed four times more than what, what the original cost of that particular thing would be. So, and uh, and he claims that he had 10,000 rupees in his pocket when he reached Mumbai. 10,000 rupees in 90s was a big amount. At that time, people, used, people in government servants used to get 1,000 or 2,000 rupees monthly salary, and, which would cover the entire month. And they have to live with their entire family. And 10,000 rupees was a big deal at 90s. And Shah Rukh Khan didn't stay uh, on a railway station. He stayed in a five-star hotel, Sun and Sand, which costed him more than 13 k which, which today, is, if, you, if you look at the today's scenario, one day expense of living in Sun and Sand Hotel is 13 k 13,000 rupees, which is humongous for any middle-class guy. So, Shah Rukh Khan, and people don't know this, uh, is, is, Sometimes they even know this, but they try to know this fact that Shah Rukh Khan was already a star when he went to Mumbai. Now, coming to Amitabh Bachchan. Amitabh Bachchan was from a nice, well-to-do family and everyone knows that. His father was a national poet who was very popular and had great family connections with the first family of India at that time, Nehru family. He studied at one of the most expensive schools of India at Nainital, Sherwood, and later did a well-paid job at Merchant Navy in Kolkata. He had travelled extensively and after his marriage, when he was not a big actor, he had planned his honeymoon at London, which is quite unaffordable for any struggle even today. And he was doing that in 1970s. Amitabh Bachchan was a rich guy. So, so that story that he was he was a very poor guy and he didn't have any connections and he came to uh, Mumbai and he struggled a lot and he became successful is all crap basically. He knew a lot of people when he came to Mumbai basically. He knew Mahmood's, uh, Mahmood's brother, he knew Jaya Bachchan because Jaya Bachchan's father was also a writer and his father and Jaya Bachchan's father was, uh, were good friends. And... Uh, if you talk about, if you if you go a little back, we uh, come to know about uh, this guy called, uh, who is on every single note that India produces, called Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi went to South Africa to get his law degree. Come on, he went to South Africa to get his law degree. At a time when going abroad was an expensive idea. He not only went there, but he also had a successful licensed practice there before he came to India and practiced poverty and basically he marketed poverty here and that he was not wearing anything even when he went to jail he was he was uh, nicely treated there but then now talking about all these things a question arises now why lie about their past it is because people love rags to riches story they like to believe in their ideas and they like to believe in self-made men that's the problem it all comes back to one thing. 
you have to dramatize even if your life to sell it you have to dramatize your life to sell it that that's one thing it all comes back to one thing that normal stories don't sell if someone tells you that they have been comfortable for their entire life and uh, uh, they didn't have to struggle you won't you won't value them you they those characters won't be very enigmatic for you so most of the celebrities most of the successful people basically when they look back they try to dramatize their life so that it becomes very interesting for you no one likes to hear that someone was rich and he got richer that for people is not an achievement otherwise uh, 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 this guy mukesh ambani mukesh ambani would have been uh, an icon because he's one of the billionaires of india and he has uh, made a name of his own on forbes list and he everyone in the world knows him just because he's a billionaire but no one admires him no one thinks that he's very enigmatic because when he started his business he was already a billionaire and his father was already a rich guy Donald Trump who is a billionaire once told a story how he had no money once and he made a comeback to being a rich again he knew that people would admire that story of his and those who didn't know much in fact did he had to shed his billionaire son's background to get some admiration for his immense wealth that's why he showed that he went to a bankruptcy and then he again gained all the money so that he can show it to the people that uh, whatever he's doing is because of his own not because of his father or relatives or the people around him Steve Jobs also had this famous story at how he became bankrupt after his ambitious company Next NEXT that didn't work which he started after being thrown out of Apple he had to struggle his way to the top Steve Jobs inherited millions of dollars from Apple when he was thrown out not to mention the royalties he got from them how do you think he produced a mega budget animated film called Toy Story which starred Tom Hanks one of the most celebrated and prized actor of Hollywood after an expensive failure of Next The thing is he already had the money it was not a lack of riches story successful men like people uh like people to believe that whatever they have done was all because of them alone and they had to struggle a lot to reach where they are here the are the problem with these stories people actually believe them to be true and want to imbibe them lack of riches stories give them a believability that they can do it too it gives them a false indication that it can be their story as well they keep convincing themselves that if they can do it why can't they do it if they also started believing in the myth that uh, without a painful story without a painful struggle they will never get anything worth in life and they started believing in that they also start believing that anything worthwhile can only happen to them when they will go through extreme pain they start believing that being a poor person is a virtue and being a rich man is a vice and if you look at the movies of 70s in india you will see that this theory was uh, told again and again and people were getting rich by showing these stories again and again where uh, mostly it was the hero was amitabh bachchan and who he was shown like a poor guy and uh, he would do something and become he would become rich and every rich man was shown like a villain every every rich man was a villain at that time capitalism was a hated topic in india at that time while america embraced capitalism every other country hated it so those kind of films were there they started so basically uh this is what people want to believe that a poor person is a virtue and being rich is not a good thing they start believing that anyone who who is born with silver spoon is in, in his mouth is evil Have you ever realized that how much rich people talk about money being not an answer to everything in life recently you must have uh, seen these videos of Jim Carrey where he tells you that money is not the answer for everything and everyone is trying to uh, make you run away from the money and uh, while Jim Carrey is saying all those kind of things he is also doing movies and charging a lot of money so if money does not matter to him why is he charging money for doing the things that he really want to really enjoy in life uh, the things that are actually passion for him so basically everyone is fucking lying to you about all these things how and how they hate having so much wealth how being successful is not the solution to life's problem and yet they keep doing what they are doing instead of donating all their wealth and living like a poor i don't know why they keep saying those kind of things well basically i know it is because they say it to make people like them people don't like rich people people don't like people who have a lot of money they is like to do this kind of thing but uh, they don't like it people like people who are little bit miserable and if you are very rich and a little bit miserable people develop a liking towards you abhorrence to money and wealth is still seen by most people as a sign of nobility and great moral standards well it is not true that is why poor people remain poor while rich people keep getting richer day by day 
people is spend their entire lives struggling and not ever becoming a millionaire and then they blame luck for it let 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 me break another myth for you luck has nothing to do with it luck has nothing to do anything with it my advice and i will give you four advices and i hope this helps you don't believe in rags to riches story while some may be true most are just created by men to glorify themselves in front of people it is not necessary that you have to struggle or face a tremendous amount of pain to get successful and rich you just have to work hard and focus in one single direction biographies are the one sided glorified version of a man who really want people to admire him for the kind of man that he was after he is gone don't believe every word of the biographies that you read i have read i have read several biographies hundreds of biographies and uh, they are and I, there were times that i got motivated reading them but later i came to know that they were just one sided version of a person uh, they are not true basically it's just one man's whims and fantasies if it's autobiography it's whims and fantasies if it's biography then there are guys who are paid or admire them that's why they are writing those kind of things is either this side or that side but it's either negative or positive but the thing is it's it's never true 90% of all biographies have 70% of fake content now fourth point while it is good to get motivated by listening to successful people as usually they are nice speakers successful people become nice speakers i don't know how but they are nice speakers it is not necessary to walk on the same path to get successful successful people become nice speakers because they get this opportunity to talk and also because i think that successful people are very good communicators but uh, again it's not a rule and you don't have to walk on the same path to get successful there are a lot of people uh, who are not very good at talking and yet they become very successful so uh the basic idea about uh, in this podcast that i wanted to tell you is that never get inspired or uh start emulating or uh, imitating someone just because you have read good things about them uh most of the things that those stories are marketed those stories are created just so that you start thinking good about them because people have certain greed that that uh, people admire them even if they are gone uh i don't know why that happens but uh, that is the psychology of human being human brain so uh use your own mind and uh, read more books but do not believe every word that you read do not believe every word everything that you hear uh, there the you have to use your own brain as well so do not believe rags to riches stories if you read them just read them for amusement and follow your own path follow your own track and whatever you're doing just keep doing it thank you for today let's meet in the next podcast and please 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 comment and share it and also uh, subscribe to my channel on soundcloud i'll be soon coming on itunes and i am trying to find a way to come on itunes and i will post more pot- more podcast uh, on this channel thank you